since our last meeting um, in October, so actually the Friday following that meeting, we did have another representative from Great Promise Partnership um, visit Valdosta and have um, some meetings. She met with um, Valdosta High School, and they will begin their work prep program in January. And so that will be the initial um, how to get the program started and up and running. They'll do the semester of work prep with the students, and then they will be ready to be placed within jobs um, with our existing industries that will be participating summer or fall, um, whatever is available with our existing industries. And so we also, she met that afternoon with um, Jenna Beelan and Mark from Langdale Industries. So I think those are two great local existing companies that can help us get the ball running and promote this program and we you know, hope to see it increase within other companies um, as we get it start up, up off the ground. Um, in October, Leadership Lounge does their Economic Development Day, so that gave us the opportunity to do a presentation and tour to the class of 2013 um, to upcoming local leaders to give them a first-hand look at what um, our industry is and some one of our, our what our companies and employers um, do from day to day. Mm -hmm. um, Governor Deal, when he came in um, to office, he started the Georgia Competitive Initiative, and that was um, from the first session at the beginning of his um, governorship. Um, there was lots of um, great initiatives and changes that came out of that session, and so he had a follow-up meeting um, in October down in Tifton with some basically board members from that group. And so we had um, a great opportunity to talk about the grad site, which was one of the programs that came out of the Georgia Competitive Initiative, and then also um, a panel on agribusiness, of course, with the University of Georgia's um, facility in Tifton for agribusiness. Um, some social media and blog features, um, I just some just some great things are happening within some of our partners. And so Wiregrass had a press release recently where they announced the highest job placement rate since 2008. I thought that was a great opportunity to um, showcase the workforce that we do have in our community and how they are being placed in, in jobs. As well as South Georgia Medical Center was named 2013 Large Hospital of the Year. So these are some things that we use in order to um, promote Valdosta. Um, one, a feature with about also Daily Times um, had a platform on agritourism, Raising Cane, which was a great um, feature. It got picked up by the Georgia, um, Georgia Trends Daily Digest, and then also the Department of Economic Development um, circulated that and distributed it through their social media platforms. So we were hit um, on a state level for um, some good growing industries in Valdosta. We will be, um, we were interviewed and will be featured in the Georgia Trends December issue, which is the Southwest Georgia feature. Um, Andrea talked to a reporter recently. Um, also, in case you haven't known, the, know, Governor Deal announced a week or so ago that George, Site Selection Magazine has named Georgia the number one um, state for business climate. So that's an accolade that we've been um, excited to have in the state of Georgia and, and celebrating. So, I'll add a little bit of that. Um, you know, we have had, you know, Site Selection Magazine, I don't know how many of you are familiar with it. It is a um, publication that the site selector or site consultants use and vote on this type of, they vote on whether or not the state is the number one state for business. Well, for a long time, we've always been in the, the state of Georgia has always been in the top ten, but they've never managed to get above four. <laughs> they've always hovered around four or five and this year they jumped all the way to one. So I think that goes back to what Megan brought up earlier in the competitive initiative. So Governor Deal kicked out the competitive initiative which helped us look at some of our, you know, the energy costs, energy tax, um, and some other different things to help us become more pro-business um, as it relates to developing new projects. So this just goes to show that we're, we've been headed in the right direction and Governor Deal has made us better led the effort towards making us more business friendly. Um, I also was able to attend um, the Young Professionals Meet the Consultants with SCDC, so it's a great peer-to-peer -peer opportunity as well, consultants panels on logistics, manufacturing, and food processing, but it was a great um, opportunity to um, network and interact with some 
um, economic developers from other states, so you can kind of talk, you know, what's going on mm -hmm. in our surrounding competitive states. So, a great opportunity. Paul? Yes. Uh, Megan, uh, would you uh, go back to your point number one and, and tell me what you said about uh, Gina Beeland's affiliation? Okay. I, I may not have heard. Yeah. The Great Promise Partnership is, um, will be placing students in CJB and Langdale to have a job. Um, so it'll be a program where they do half, half a day at school um, with their regular curriculum. But in January, they'll be taking a, a work prep course. So that'll give them the, teach them the soft skills about having a job. When they go into the work environment, there'll be, they'll, they'll have a supervisor and they'll have a mentor there um, as they are in, get integrated. integrated into the workforce. Um, just kind of gives them that opportunity to go to, to go to school and work at the same time. And these are students that are at risk. Okay, and what were her affiliations? Well, she, Gina and Mark Wilson are, are two industries that are going to start the program. Okay, and, but she's on the on Velocity School Board. Yes. And she's a principal, uh, I believe she's an officer in CJB Industries. Mm -hmm. And were you aware that her father's name is Fowler, Curtis Fowler, and he's a principal in a very good accounting firm in town. I'm just, yeah. look, look at all this stuff. Okay. Is that all you have for us? That's like a lot. Thank you very much. Mr. Ricketts.